Tonight, state police are still looking for this man right here. He is the man accused of breaking into homes all over southeast Michigan. Police say he reads the obituaries. Then he targets his victims' homes while he knows they're attending funerals. So far, he's hit homes in Oakland, Washtenaw, Monroe, and Livingston counties. And tonight, we are hearing from a local woman who was targeted in the very same way. Yeah, she was at her husband's funeral when the unthinkable happened. Someone broke into her home, maybe that guy, and stole thousands of dollars in cash and jewelry. And as 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaquette explains, that crook got away with something even, even more precious, should I say. After 58 years of marriage, Thelma Ruckhaber was mourning the loss of her husband Charles. And what she never imagined was at that very same moment, here at her home, someone was stealing her memories. He picked me up in Sagatuck. You know Sagatuck? Thelma Ruckhaber remembers meeting her husband Charles like it was yesterday. We were both there for the 4th of July weekend. A weekend that led to 58 years, more than half a century together. He was a wonderful man, and anyone you would talk to would tell you that. Thelma clings tightly to the memories since she buried Charles just last week after he lost a two-year battle with cancer. The funeral was um, on Friday last week, the 14th, Valentine's Day. If that day wasn't heartbreaking enough, what Thelma found back at home sent her reeling. The next morning, when I went to get dressed, I opened a drawer and I said, Boy, look at the mess this jewelry drawer is in. Did I leave it like that? And underneath that, I had some cash. And so that was my first thing. Oh, my God, there's no money there. As she searched the house, it only got worse. All the rings Chuck had given me, I like gold crosses. He had given me a number of gold crosses, which were all gone. Thelma had been robbed during the funeral for her husband. The house was empty, a sitting target. She called her son Jeremy. He could tell instantly the thief knew what he was doing. They went inside this drawer inside here um, and got other things and the cash and more jewelry. It's almost like they, they had a sense for where any of the valuables might be. <sighs> yes. Who they, would do such a thing? Jeremy and Thelma way. have no idea, but fear the obituary for Charles that was in the newspaper could have tipped off the jewelry bandit. Having to cope with losing your dad and then on top of it having to deal with this, what goes through your mind? It's heartbreaking. I mean, it's still hard not to get emotional. You know, it's my dad. It's my mom. You know, on top of everything else we did, we got to go through this. And it just it kills me. What goes around comes around. So I hope they're caught, frankly, you know, and I'd love to get some of my jewelry back. In Livonia, Simon Shaquette, 7 Action News.